Village is great fun. I think Village is one of my favourite Siege characters because uh, unlike a lot of Siege characters who just by their nature are kind of inscrutable, uh, you don't know what their motives are, they're doing who knows why they do what they do. Village is very, very human in a lot of ways, despite being like a weird parasite thing. Is this underdog character who basically has decided that he never wants to be under underdog ever again. And whatever it takes to stay on top, he's going to do it. And that leads into some kind of really fun gameplay where we've really built this idea that you are happy to sacrifice anything and everything if it means that you get to be the top dog. Actually, when he loses his own troops in battle, he'll still get some extra souls for that because, you know, he doesn't mind just stealing some extra souls from his own troops after they've died. Uh, it's cheaper for him to borrow his allied armies as well. So you can do these fun combos where you like rent out your allied army, suicide them into a battle they can't win, and then kind of harvest their souls for your benefit. So it's very much about kind of pulling these kind of tricksy shenanigans and basically uh, screwing over everyone else as much as possible. Uh, Village was an interesting one. Is technically two character. Uh, Village is a parasite uh, that live on the back of his of his brother. His brother is a tool, and he uses brute force more than anything. He's he's a mindless puppet. To show the strength, we, we made a wide arc with his with his weapon. At the same time, we tried to show that Village was still the one in control. His brother, Village brother, is still still here, and uh, Village made sure that um, his brother know uh, who is in control at least once every day. Village was done by my uh, good friend Uso Tolinen. I love the way his name sounds; like it's, it's really cool mystical. Unlike Slanesh where we try to keep things very organic, I think Zench we really push it to not to be. We always want Zench to sound weird and a bit off. Where Village is really interesting is he's a melee character, which normally isn't a Zench thing. His sound design reflects that. It's a lot more harsh than we'd maybe normally do Zench, where Zench is normally quite mystical, blasty. This is a very punchy to the point, big and metallic. And I also want to take this moment to shout out the dialogue team who did all these uh, characters and they did a phenomenal job of all four. And that's Daniel Sterling and Stephen Thomas that handled all the dialogue for this DLC. They collaborated quite heavily with Uso to do Tommen of the village dynamic. Because uh, it's actually the voice of Uso. Silence, fool! Yeah, and they just went back and forward and it's now part of their dynamic. You've got the village with the very good voice actor talking, doing his thing. And then it's uh, Tommen just giving Uso's grunts back to him. And, that always makes me happy to hear my friend in the game every time I play it. So Village is this kind of uh, steamroller character. He's a character that plays into the two halves of the, of the twin that is Village the Cursling. So he's got this ability which is called the Twisted Twin, which is a buff to his melee attack, melee defense, and spell mastery. The effects of this buff scale up as he spends longer in melee and uh, also longer casting spells. So get a load of spells off, get your blue fire, get your, get your pink fire off, spam those spells and kind of bring up his power as you kind of work your way towards uh, getting into melee. Something that Uso really pioneered is uh, he wanted a new heavy plate sound because, you know, armor is debatably the most common sound in our game. And he just wanted something new, a bit chunkier, a bit beefier, and it was part with um, Village. And all it was was Uso recorded his own house keys in some metal armor we have around the studio, and he was just playing with the metal straps of it, pitched it right down. And when you play the game, if you're playing as any of the new Warriors of Chaos or Village himself, Normally, if they're in this big heavy plate, it's really Uso's house keys. 